Okay, so uh, we are in the middle of discussing the short story coming up short story Escape from Caressa mm -hmm. and we have reached some conclusions about how the story continues after our protagonist uh, schmuck breaks out of the quote-unquote tutorial area and uh, and enters the terrain proper so basically there is another player or another contestant or another tournament uh, is uh, not escape be tournament captive mm -hmm. that has outlived already several rounds of this uh, this game and uh, th the current code name is Lizzie or Daisy mm -hmm. and uh, and she's some sort of big, <laughs> big cruel welder type and uh, and the uh, and the game control, or the, uh, the, the office, quote unquote office drones, who are having the blase uh, dialogues about, uh, oh, how long do you expect this one to last? Uh, they are basically taking bets how long it will take uh, for her to take down the other contestants, etc. And uh, uh, since she has been around long enough. Uh, and she has quote unquote won several rounds of the tournament. She knows very well that winners don't get to go home. Instead, uh, instead the good killers are kept around uh, mm -hmm. for uh, for show. And uh, we have come up with a little twist that uh, when our protagonist schmuck runs into Lizzie uh, he will uh, he will be ready to die and then all goes dark and the office drones uh, who observe the whole thing from uh, from a camera somewhere they uh, they count it as a kill meanwhile uh, quote unquote Lizzie uh, has delivered our protagonist schmuck into safety and it turns out that uh, uh, he's not the first. Like there, there are other people whom she has uh, spared and uh, smuggled into uh, uh, into certain blind spots in the in the game area. And, uh, and she's actually secretly secretly putting together a team or building a crew uh, who might uh, help her to uh, actually attack the game control because she has also figured out that uh, the game control is somewhere on the on that moon's very surface and this is this is where we have several options so it could be that uh, that she's not alone in the planning it could be that from uh, quite early on she has uh, has been teaming up with another, uh, with another contestant slash captive, who is the quiet, uh, quiet nerdy strategists to her uh, loud and vicious tank, mm -hmm. and this is this is where we shall uh, gleefully apply video game logic and the sort of adventuring party logic again. So it's like uh, while she has been killing all sorts of uh, nasty types. She has been sparing uh, people to fulfill the roles of uh, classical adventuring party. So they they will have the mage type or the hacker. They will have the uh, medic. They will have tank. They will have the I don't know archer. <laughs> they will have the rigger. They will have supplies. They will have the militiaist. So it's it's gonna need some thinking. Which uh, which roles they exactly have, and of course there will be some remixing and uh, and and jiggling, but uh, the plan is to uh, basically lampshade all this. So it's like yeah, so they they want they want the video game. We shall give them video game, <laughs> <laughs> and this this will also echo very nicely with our daily experience. 
and that's that. <laughs> so the uh, the latest edition, the uh, the protagonist, the uh, schmuck who wakes up at the beginning of the story, he will be like the mechanics uh, mechanical repairs guy. You get to live. <laughs> <laughs> And there, there are several obstacles to, to this whole thing because they, these guys will have to stay hidden in the whatever hidden pocket that it is that's, that's the safe spot. There might even be somebody who jeopardizes this, uh, this retreat. Uh, and also all the supplies that they have is the supplies that uh, Miss Lizzie is able to uh, scour from the surface and she can't grab too many extra supplies because then uh, uh, then it's gonna look suspicious so it's like if she if she has been eating uh, five ration bars in a row usually and now she's eating uh, 20 that's suspicious but if she's mm -hmm. been eating five and now she's eating eight that's that's just like okay she's a big girl And in the meantime, uh, the uh, the sport continues uh, while the while the uh, blind spot slash uh, secret bunker is revealed, where the uh, where the new growing crew crew is uh, coming to terms with their situation, or more more like they are filling in the new guy. Uh, Lizzie will have to do all a, lo a lot of uh, viscera and uh, and splatter on the surface to keep the spectacle going because otherwise there would be suspicions. Mm -hmm. And and all the while, the the guys by uh, by the monitors slash the control slash the office drones, uh, they will uh, they will keep commenting on the situation and. Uh, they probably will not notice that that something is off or like they they might be noticing that something is off but they they can't tell what it is until it's too late yeah yep sounds like a story in there yep <laughs> and uh and it's not yet 100% sure where the story ends but uh, my thinking was that uh, uh, outlining the whole heist might be too much uh, but we could end the story in a point where the crew is all ready and uh, uh, ready and prepared and, uh, and uh, move to the position and there is the uh, there is the objective that they have to raid, and uh, and now they are like, shall we? <laughs> oh yes. And that's that. So, yeah, so pretty this, good ending point. Yeah. So this uh, this concludes the uh, the outlining based on Escape from the Caressa notes. I think I will stop recording here because okay. I, I don't think I have much to add actually. No, I think this outline's really good. Yeah, so let's just uh let's begin working from here and then uh and then adjust on the way. Mm-hmm.